This is Andar Ren, and I'm here to give you a video tutorial on how to add sounds to the Pet Battle Pokemon mod. Before we start, there are a few things you'll need. First, make sure your World of Warcraft client is shut down or closed. The reason is that World of Warcraft cannot read any files that are added while it is running. Second, you will need a sound recording slash editing software. For this tutorial, I will be using Audacity because it is the best free sound editor I know of that can do everything I need to do. It can also be used on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems, so that's a really big plus. A link to Audacity's webpage is in the description below. The third and final thing you will need is the lame underscore ecn dot dll mp3 encoder for Audacity. A link for this encoder is in the description below. The first step is to get the sound you want into Audacity. If it is already in a file that is in an MP3 or an OGG format, then you can skip to step 3. If not, you can just load it into Audacity like you would a text file for Notepad. If the sound is not in a file, or a file type supported by Audacity, then you'll have to set up Audacity to record sound off your computer. To do this seems to vary from computers, so I can't really tell you how to do that. I will have a link below giving you a tutorial on how to do that for your computer. Step 2. After you get the sound onto Audacity, the next thing you need to do is to make sure it's what you want. You can use Audacity to remove any silent sections that appear before or after the sound, like when you're starting up the recording. You can also use it to increase the volume of the effect if you want, and you can find that in the Effects tab under Amplify. If you want to do more advanced editing, you'll have to look that up on your own because I'm not really familiar with the more advanced editing. Once you have the sound the way you want it, look at the end of the sound and find out how many seconds the sound is. You'll need that for when you add it into the add-on. After that, you can then go into the export process. To export the sound, click on File in the menu bar and go down to Export on the drop-down menu. Click on Export and a Save File window should appear. The file name doesn't really matter. What does matter is the type of file that you save it as. The type is right below the name of the file, and there are two types you can save it as. These two types are MP3 and OGG Vorbis, or just OGG. The reason is WoW will only really recognize those two types. Of the two types, it kind of depends which one you want for what you want to use the sound for. If you just want to use the sound for a general sound effect, like for your pet doing an attack or something, either one works. But if you want to use it for background music, it's recommended you go with MP3. It's implied that OGG will work with music, but it's more confirmed working with MP3. Once you have the sound file name and sound file format, you can go ahead with export. Audacity might ask you for some metadata, but you don't need to fill that out. Step 3. Once Audacity is done exporting the sound file, you can move the sound file into the World of Warcraft directory. The reason the sound file needs to be in the World of Warcraft directory is because World of Warcraft cannot read any files outside of the World of Warcraft file directory. I'm guessing it's a security design for the client, but I don't know. So you need to open the World of Warcraft file directory with uh, the Explorer or whatever your file browser is that you're using. Once you're there, you can either just simply move the sound file you made with Audacity into the directory, or you can make your own directory within the World of Warcraft file directory. Doing that would make it easier to put your files in and know where they are in case you need to move them or get at them. In my case, I made a folder called My Sound where I put my sound files for the add-on or for any other use I need them for. Step 4. 
once the file is moved into the World of Warcraft directory or the directory you made inside the World of Warcraft directory, you can start up and log into World of Warcraft. Once you're in game, hit the exit button to open up the menu, then click on interface to go into the interface window. Click on the add-on tab in the top left corner of the interface window to get into the add-on list, and then scroll down the list to find Pet Battle Pokemon mod. Expand Pet Battle Pokemon mod and look for an option called Sound Library. Clicking on that will open up the Sound Library display. Inside the Sound Library display you will see three input fields. One for the file location, one for the sound length, and one for the sound name in the library. For the file location you don't need to have the full address from the C drive. For the file location all you need is the World of Warcraft address onward. Since I put my file in the My Sound folder within the World of Warcraft directory, what I put in is my sound slash test.mp3. Then I hit the OK next to the input field to verify that is the value. Then I add in the length of time in seconds, hit OK in the seconds input field, and put the name I want the sound, in this case test, in the name field and hit OK. Once all the input fields are in, you can click on the Save button and then scroll down the list of sounds to look for your sound on the list and then click on that and use the Test button in there to see if your sound is working. If it's not working, check to make sure the file location is correct. If that's still not working, try reloading WoW because that sometimes makes it work when it doesn't. If it's still not working after that, you can post a report on the add-on's cursed web page. I would ask before you post a report that you try adding the sound again, but this time turn on the display Lua error setting that you can find on the interface help menu right here. That way if there is a, an exception in my uh, add-on or an error in my add-on, it will bring up a message telling you that and you can post that in the report on the Curse web page and I'll have a better idea of what went wrong. And that is the tutorial. I hope it was able to help you resolve your problem you're having with the add-on, and I would like to thank you for using the Pet Battle Pokemon